New at 5.30 now, the murder trial for Angelina Polina began today. She is accused of letting her fiancé's son sleep in a garage in below freezing temperatures. He later died of hypothermia. As CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports, it was an emotional day inside the courtroom. Trial 1, guilty. Michael Valva, who'd been an NYPD officer, handcuffed and sent upstate to serve 25 to life for killing his 8-year-old son, Thomas. Now it's his former fiancée, Angela Polina's turn. After hundreds of prospective jurors were dismissed, saying they could not be fair and impartial, opening statements began in this emotionally charged, tragic murder case. Her mother and sister in attendance. Thomas, an innocent boy on the autism spectrum, forced to sleep on the bare cold concrete garage floor of his center merch's home because of bedwetting issues. He died of hypothermia on a 19 degree January day. His father forced Thomas naked to an outside spigot, sprayed him with freezing water. The jury was told Polina was complicit, did nothing to help, and then lied. I told the jury she's going to take the stand to own up to everything she did wrong and also explain what she didn't do and that she didn't commit the crime. That, that, that the father committed that Mr. Valva committed it. But prosecutors called Polina's years of maltreatment of Thomas evil, wicked, inhumane, depraved. Tommy's teachers will testify he was eager to learn, but was always cold and hungry that he wasn't fed breakfast because he didn't call Angela Polina mommy. Prosecutors say home surveillance audio and video that Polina tried to delete will play a starring role, proving that she did not want Valva's three sons living with her and her three daughters in their house on Bittersweet Lane. The jury will see her text message, you want a life with me, then give them back. Back to their biological mother, Justina Zubko Valva. My son, Thomas. She lost custody during a bitter divorce and is now suing Suffolk County for failures on the part of Child Protective Services, the court system, and law enforcement to protect the boys. From Riverhead, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.